to What's Right with the World with your host, Glenn Ambrose. Hey, everybody. Welcome to What's Right with the World. Here we are. Oh, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're doing a new intro, and it's fun. Uh, it's not really a new intro. It's no, so much as it's just you and me, uh, you know. Doing what we do. Yeah. Not scoofing. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so, so to all the listeners or all the watchers out there that are watching this on video, I'm super cash today. <laughs> That's, is that the cool way of saying I'm dressed? Lot, actually, actually, a lot of things are different right now. Uh, you are super cash. We also look a lot better because we both have new cameras mm. um, that we have not filmed with yet. Uh, you are at a different angle in your room. Yeah. Um, and I am in a completely different room at the moment. Oh, my God. So everything's different. So for the video watchers, your mind has just been blown. <laughs> uh, also, this is the first episode um, that is going to be a little bit different. Uh, and by that, I mean, um, we started doing the daily what's right with the world sharing again, uh, for those of you on Patreon. So since the beginning of November, we've been sharing that and you're going to hear this on November 7th, 2018. And it is November 6th, 2018, as we record this. So all of our news stories and everything are up to date. Uh, they are current. It's what's right with the world this week. <laughs> and, um, and we're going to do a little bit of, uh, of a different, of a different format instead of just covering one thing and telling you why it's right. You know, why it's, it's something that's right with the world. We're going to talk about a couple different things and we're going to talk about what Glenn and I are feeling positive about and, uh, and that kind of thing. So Glenn, so yeah, we're going to we're going to let it unfold how it unfolds. So this is completely new and how um how it's going to unfold is kind of organic. So we'll see how it goes. But um so so yeah, we'll but we'll be touching on different subjects and who knows where the conversation will go. Um so a couple weeks ago, obviously there was the tragedy in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, with the synagogue shooting. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, one of the things that we always have talked about on the show since the very beginning is whenever there's a, there's a disaster or a horrific event, um, there's always positive stories that come out of it. Right. And uh, as many people have covered, this event took place in literal Mr. Rogers neighborhood where Fred Rogers is from and Fre and Fred Rogers had a f famous quote that his mom told him when he was a kid, whenever you see a tragedy on the news, look for the helpers. Mm. Notice yeah. the helpers. There's always people, whenever there's a fire, there's always people rushing towards the fire. You know, there's always people willing to help, um, which is something that Glenn, you've talked about a lot. And, uh, and and I'm guessing that you have some examples of some helpers. I do, specifically <laughs> one that is a real feel-good story. Um, Muslim groups in the Pittsburgh area raised over $150,000 to cover the funeral costs of every victim of the synagogue shooting. Wow. <laughs> no, it's not... What a, what a good expression. I mean, you know, I think it's, we're pretty aware of the backlash that <laughs> the Muslim religion has <laughs> taken, you know, be, because of the extremists and stuff. So what a wonderful way to to express the, the, the good parts of uh, the beauty of their religion by stepping up as a group and doing something like that. Absolutely. And, you know, there's, there's obviously like, there's a ton of history of, um, you know, Islam and Judaism being at odds and for, right. for, for this, uh, sign of, of goodwill and faith and, uh, humanitarianism, you know, just the, 
it's it's such a great story so it's definitely something that i wanted to cover and it's the it was the first daily what's right with the world last week Mm. um so i thought that that was a huge thing we also had a fun story about a local bookstore we have a couple like local stories uh Oh, local to you. Not local to me. No, no, no. Oh. Just small town stories oh, that I think okay. are really fun. Okay. Um, a local bookstore that had been in business for a really long time got to move to a bigger store uh, a, like a little bit down the street. But they were really concerned with how they were going to move all of these books, hmm. you know, and how long it would take them to do that and how long they would have to be shut down. Well, this was really fun. Uh, a group of over 200 people, community <laughs> members, s- lined up from one from the old store to the new store and passed a book at a time. Wow. Creating a huge chain for, <laughs> for hours. Uh, passers-by, people on vacation stopped, saw what was happening, got involved. Oh, wow. Uh, pizza places donated food to the to the people. Um, so just this awesome, fun story. Wow. That's that's a sense of community, you know? Yeah. And it's, it, it is. It's such a it's, – it's so heartwarming to hear that because it's, you know – Oh, there's no community. Yeah, there's community. That, like, you know, we're, we're not broken as people. <laughs> you know, we still work. We still have hearts. We still want to be loved. And, you know, we still care for one another. It's all there. It's, you know, it's, it's not like we're broken. So, so the, what a beautiful example of how people just step in and in, in such a, I like it because it's such an unconventional way. You know, yeah. and yeah. that's, that's what it is, is like a lot of times we look at the way things are routinely and we go, oh, well, you know, it's, we're not really helping each other. It's like, you know, and, and there's no, like, there's nothing we can do. And then we hear about something like this where just, you know, it's creative and there is something you can do. And you hear about, you know, a, a six-year-old, you know, you know, raising a bunch of money and buying food for the homeless or something, or, you know, somebody creating a program is this guy I know in Rhode Island that created a program to take all old sneakers and cleats and bring them to impoverished countries for the kids over there. And it like, you know, the creativity, it's just such a good way for creativity to blossom, to think up, new little things like this. And it touches a lot of people's lives you know, every, that, that is, you know, two, 300 people that were touched by that, you know, and their families. Yeah. And then they'll talk about it. And then it's on a new, like that literally reached, you know, at minimum thousands and thousands of people in a heartwarming way. So what, what a great little, (laughs) <laughs> you know example uh, of of community that is so the other uh community story that i have on here is a little bit uh starts out a little bit more sad there is a uh, a couple who owns a donut shop a local donut shop in california and uh the wife um of the of the owner couples uh got is is sick is ill and uh, to help out the donut shop owner, um, customers have shown up early every day to buy the whole store out, <laughs> uh, buying donuts by the dozens so that he can spend the day with his wife, who is ill. <laughs> So again, this is it. It's creativity. You know, it's, it's thinking outside the box. It's going, you know, what's within my power to just help. And, and like the, the way the creativity blossoms in these situations is because people look at the issue and then they focus on the solution. 
You know, so the issue is, you know, the, the problem is, um, well, we, you know, his wife's ill and we want him to spend more time with her. How can we help him spend more time with her? And when you're focused on that, all of a sudden the creativity can come in and you can find these interesting ways of doing it. Absolutely. It's just that that's what, that's what we have to do more in this world is, is, you know, instead of going like, if <laughs> you know, how could this could have not happened when, if there was a room filled with people and they said, well, we should buy all his donuts early in the morning so he can spend the rest of the day with her. And then the other half of the room said, no, we should go in two hours early and help them make the donuts. And then, and then they argued over that for the next 30 years. <laughs> you know, like, see, that's, that's how things don't get done. This is how things get done. It's, it's very clear. <laughs> uh, so my final what's right with the world story for today um, is sometimes I just love miraculous stories. You know? Yes, yes you do. I do. And so do I. And this story is miraculous. A New Zealand fisherman who goes to the same spot every single day decided, I'm going to go somewhere different. I'm going to go out into the, into the ocean, uh, you know, to fish today a little bit. Uh, saw what he thought was a doll in the water. Um, it was not a doll. An 18-month-old baby had wandered away from the campsite where his parents were vacationing. Uh, I believe it was a, where the baby's parents were vacationing and gotten swept into the ocean had been there for hours, was somehow still alive, was somehow spotted a little speck in the ocean by this fisherman as a current was pushing the baby away. The fisherman somehow saved the baby and the baby was okay. Oh, my God. Uh, The New Zealand newspaper or the Australian newspaper that I got the article from called it a freakish miracle. Yeah. You think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, talk about it. That's exactly it. It's a, it's a miracle, you know, stuff like that. Miracles happen every day and there's one. Yeah. You know, that's, it, you, you can't explain, <laughs> you can't explain how that happened except it was supposed to. Absolutely. So now uh, this is uh, a little bit different. Glenn, this is how we're going to end the show uh, for both of us. What is right in your world this week? What isn't right? In <laughs> uh, well, yeah, you know, really, if your eyes are open, you do see a lot. And, and uh, you know, even that story we just mentioned, you know, I noticed things like that was from New Zealand. Well, my... My friend who passed away last year, his mom was from New Zealand and he's got a sister that lives over there. And it's just so whenever I hear New Zealand, like, I I mean, I grew up in the United States. Like, so I don't, in my lifetime, I have not heard New Zealand that often. Um, And since he passed every time I do, which is quite a bit. <laughs> I always think of him. So it's like a little hello um, to me. So that's, that's one little thing that just happened spontaneously in this moment. Um, that's right. But, you know, it's like in the last week, I think, um, I think what's right is that this, you know, my move, the biggest thing is my move to Florida has i i did most of the stuff you need to do when you move <laughs> you know to to find a place to live and to to get your car registered and get my son in school and you know all that stuff um almost all of it has been accomplished so i see the the focus turning on me and and it's uncomfortable 
But this is, I'm heading into a new chapter of my life now where my son's getting older and he doesn't take as, it doesn't require as much of my time and energy as he used to when he was younger and my business being established. And of course, we're always expanding and growing, but the, the foundational stuff of my business kind of being set and, um, and I, it just really feels like um, entering into a new chapter of my life. And, um, and it feels really good. You know, it feels, <laughs> it feels like the focus can be a little bit more on joy and a little bit less on doing. Um, and it's exciting where I'm going and I can, and I've gotten better at focusing on what brings me joy and letting the other things fall away. So I think this, this week has been a, the, the last seven days has been a big shift for me, um, in that area and it was uncomfortable and I allowed myself to feel it and work through it and then open up to it. And I'm feeling more hopeful and more joyful than ever moving forward. So I'm really grateful for that. So I'm, I'm, what's right in my world is really the change that's taking place, I think. And, and that I've been fortunate enough to open to it to some degree and recognize it, feel what I need to feel, let go of what I need to let go of and start embracing the new chapter. So it's exciting. That's awesome, man. Uh, and that is what this show is about. So that is what's right with the world this week. Well, what about you? We can go over a little bit. What's right in your world? Uh, <laughs> I, um, you know, uh, went to a, went to a Rafi concert, a children's uh, concert um, over the weekend. That was really awesome. And um, I shared a story about that on your Patreon page. Uh, as one of the daily what's right with the worlds, um, which is just awesome. Uh, and Rafi is a, you know, look up the stuff that he, if you want to know, look up the stuff that he's done with, uh, for children and child honoring and, uh, that whole foundation. It's really cool stuff. Um, also today in America, cause I know that you have listeners all over the world, but in America it's, uh, election day. So, um, you know, got to vote and, uh, that's that's always awesome um you know when you're able to do that so yeah that's uh that's what's right uh in my world this week nice yeah good good. that's all positive stuff not all but you know the more we look for it the more we see it awesome well that's it man that's the new show that's it and uh yeah this will continue unfolding and I'm sure we will. I kind of like the, the um, is a little bit more. It almost feels like there's a little more freedom in it. Yeah. So, which is good because that's probably going to lead to a heck of a lot more laughter, which is spontaneous and fun. So I like that. So, all right. Thanks for listening, everybody. And we will talk with you soon. Glenn is available for life coaching sessions. To book an appointment or for more information, go to glennambrose.com, follow him on Facebook and Twitter, or click the link in the description of this episode.